the terror that we're going to slay today are the top three things that I wish someone would have told me when I was learning how to DM. So let it be written, so let it be done. This is Tabletop Terrors. Here at Tabletop Terrors, we're all about conquering the crucible of creativity. And in the process, learning something about tabletop RPGs. So the number one tip that I wish somebody had told me when I started out is that the most important thing is that everyone has fun. Uh, you know, both the GM and the players should be having fun. That's what the game is all about. If exactly. a rule gets in the way of that or a particular topic comes up, address it from the standpoint of having fun. Make exactly. sure that whatever happens, whatever decisions that are made at the table generally go toward everybody having fun. Not everyone's fun is going to be the same. And so what's fun for you might not be fun for the group who's playing next to you at the gaming store or uh, even a game that you're watching like online. Find out what's fun for you, your players, and don't worry about anyone else's thoughts. If you're having a great time, you're making memories, that's rule number one. So the second thing that I wish somebody would have told me is when you're prepping, prep problems, not solutions. I have a group of players that are coming over on Saturday. So I wanna write a little session. For the longest time, I would make the problem and then what I thought should be the solution. Yeah, like the, oh, this is gonna be the obvious thing is uh, they'll eventually realize that they need to do this. And then what happens, Tim? They never, ever, ever, ever do it, ever. They don't even get there. Ever. They come up with a cooler idea. They do something else. They have a spell you didn't realize. You're they like, mention a rule you forgot about. Come up with crazy problems. Come up with Rube Goldberg machine encounters and don't think of what the solution is. Let the players think of what the solution is, and the result is always way cooler. So the third tip that sort of dovetails uh, nicely from the second one is that if and when, because it's absolutely going to happen, Gotta. your players come up with a better idea or say something you hadn't considered, go with it. See where it goes and, in my opinion, reward them for it. If the players come up with a cool idea, do your best not to tell them no if it's something you have, just because it's not something you hadn't thought of. And sometimes it's best to say, I didn't think of that. Let's talk it through. But other times, especially when it has to do with the plot, it's better to just kind of go, that's so much cooler than what I was thinking. <laughs> and then you just play along as though that was the plan the entire time. So if you've liked this video so far, throw a subscribe in our buttholes. <laughs> And don't forget to hit the bell so you get notifications when we post new videos. And comment below in the oubliette uh, with the, the things that you wish somebody had told you, the tips that you would have for new GMs, the thing that really changed your view on GMing or maybe even playing when you first started out. So the bonus tip is actually a quote from Gary Gygax, the creator of Dungeons and Dragons. And he says, and I quote, the secret we should never let the game masters know is that they don't need any rules. But we just let you know. <gasps> I just made Gary Gygax's ghost man. <laughs> the idea is, while there is a game called Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder or Starfinder or I can't think of any other ones, <laughs> Fate, it doesn't matter what RPG system you're using, you should consider the fun and, you know, making the memories with the people you're playing with more than looking back and thinking, oh man, we did that rule wrong, that's too bad. Going in with that mindset, even if you really love the rules and you're really big into crunch, it changed the way I considered my game days. All of those things are simply a consequence of the fun that I was having with my friends and my game group. Why don't we slay mundane thought as you join us in a Tabterian toast. May you mend the first break. May you kill the first snake. And, and may, may you conquer, conquer everything, everything you undertake. undertake. Slancha. Thanks for watching. And until next time, may your dice roll high. The most important thing is to have fun. Not just you, not just your players, but everybody. Uh, I really enjoy GMing. Who else is there? I'm sorry to interrupt you. I won't keep it in. I, I was going to rip off it. Sorry, I was going to rip off it. Sounded fine, but then I thought, oh, this is an opportunity for a joke, and then it didn't. <laughs>